hi friends welcome to my channel thanks for tuning in to the angels family on facebook and lady j julie lifestyle on youtube and tiktok thank you so much today i'm going to be showing you part of what i do as a caregiver and are you planning of being a caregiver and you don't know what and what you will do being a caregiver so it doesn't really matter of you being a caregiver it depends on how you came out with your certificate or your result because normally before they will employ you under this uh, category you have to go to school there is a program you will run and once you came out with the c1 c2 c3 that make you um qualified to be a caregiver so so if you don't get all the three certificate you can as well acquire some which determines the kind of job you will do on that caregiver for me i acquired the certificate of i can clean take good care of kids take good care of the hood give them bath change them prepare their food take good care of them take them out to stroll accompany them to appointment or as in just name it all so that is why i came to show you some parts or tips of what i do as a caregiver and this is my lifestyle and it's what i choose to do and i love doing it and i'm happy doing it okay so i decided to share with you guys part of what i do as a caregiver maybe in my other upload i will also show you other things i will i do as a caregiver okay so today i decided to show you me washing or giving a shampoo to this my lovely client and she's so happy to see me and whenever she sees me she's so happy she always wants me to be around her because i'm so I'm fun to be with i'm so gentle i play with everyone you understand i make her happy even when she seems to be not happy but i make sure i put that joy in her face and as you can see, she's there calling me one name, but I'm not going to tell you guys. That is the name she always calls me whenever I come to her place. And I say, no problem. I'm happy with it, okay? So after that, guys, and also do some cleaning. I helped her to keep her kitchen. I know most of you will be asking, why are you doing the shampoo in the kitchen? Yeah, she preferred, but because she's now old, she can no longer clamp upstairs because her bathroom is upstairs. You know, when they are old, they have a limit of where they can go to. So I don't have right to take her upstairs. If she falls now, it's under my care. You understand? So I have to wash her hair for her in the kitchen side. Then arrange her food for lunch. Then the brush on it is for to remind her that after eating in the evening, try to wash her teeth before going to bed. Then I have to empty the containers I use in washing her hair and the most importantly, keep record of what happened and if there's anything to do, keep record that other person that will pass will be away. And finally, I say goodbye to my good, beautiful client. Bye-bye. That is what I brought to you guys. So guys, I hope you love this, my career, and you think of doing it or not. Okay.